I love these things. <laughs> Some people get excited about nitrous. Mm -hmm. I get excited about Caltrex bars. It's the same thing. Maybe not. Maybe not really. Well, all the parts are present and accounted for. Just so everybody knows, the rear end in this car, it already has a posi. Back when this thing was still a V6, that's when I installed it. I figured I was going to need it eventually down the road, so I just went ahead and did it. However, the front does not have a posi, so that means it's kind of like three-wheel drive. So that kind of means that my attempt to spin all four tires in the rain was never really going to work anyway. <laughs> Yeah, so either way, let's not talk about spinning three tires. Let's talk about spinning two and what these things do for your car. What these things do is they transfer your car to a smoky dreamland of silky smooth lines. Okay, actually serious note, for the people who really don't know, because some people may not know, because this hot rod stuff's kind of dying out. Well, it seems like it is anyway. If you're learning from me, I'm sorry. But what these things do, this bolts to your axle, this goes on the leaf spring. So when you actually burn your tire and it seems like your car is about to fall apart, that's wheel hop. So in a situation where you have these installed on your car and you go ahead and you try to burn your tire, your axle is going to want to try to wrap and it's going to transfer that movement through this bar into this component and it's going to pin your leaf spring down and it's going to prevent axle wrap. Basically turns a negative into a positive. Okay, just a quick explanation of what I need to do just in case people are actually trying to learn from me. Um, what I need to do is I need to get rid of this component. I'm going to unbolt it and it's going to go in the trash because the Caltrax setup actually has this replacement part, but it just has the bracketry coming down so the bar can actually hook to that and it's on both sides. So those get unbolted and they go in the trash. Afterwards, I need to move the fuel tank over um, so I can get this bolt out right there, which you can barely see it, but the fuel tank blocks its exit. So it you got to move the fuel tank and that's probably the worst thing about this besides pushing the bushings out and that's the whole reason why i need to remove the leaf spring in the first place is i got to push the bushings out and then press in the new caltrax bushings afterwards i'll put the leaf springs back in i'll bolt the caltrax in place and then that's basically it I think it's safe to assume that they work. Not like there was really a doubt in the first place. I had them on my S10 before and my S10 was awesome. That thing, the Caltrax bars made that truck. Also had a V8 and a six speed. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really being too hard on this thing. I know for a fact that the transmission had 175,000 on it when I bought the Tahoe. This thing has to have about around 195,000 miles on the motor and transmission. That transmission is going to grenade sooner or later. It is what it is. It's not like I can't fix it. Hope the video was entertaining. Thank you for watching.